Hello, this is Scott McDonald, and welcome to the Perfect Place to Put a Practice podcast on Dr. Demographics. Now, this is the short version of this lecture. The longer one can be found at drdemographics.com. And we're going to call this today Playing Hooky or the Great Malaise. Now, it happens that almost everybody is seeing the same thing occurring in their patients. They're seeing it happen in their staff as well. People are just feeling like, I'm not sure I really want to come into work. I'm not sure that this is what I really want to do when I grow up. And, and therefore, people are missing appointments and not acting in the responsible manner that we've always hoped they would. It's kind of like Jimmy Carter said in the 1970s, as though the nation is going through a great malaise. Now, I don't have a solution for it. I do, on the other hand, want to say that if that's what you're seeing or feeling, that's what market researchers are seeing as well. There is kind of an effort by a lot of people to say, I just don't want to, to keep going in. I don't want the commute to work. I don't want to get dressed. Uh, they have been tracking how people have been doing with home-based employment. So people who get on Skype or Zoom or whatever to go to work, they're not so anxious about 20 25% are saying they don't want to come in under any circumstances to go back to their normal working schedule, their normal life. That is causing a bit of a drag on what's going on. Some people are saying it's caused because of the uh, shipping problem. You probably all are aware that there's a major gas price increase or gasoline price increase. Heating fuel is going to go up, oil particularly. Natural gas is also going to become more expensive. And as these things occur, people are scared. They're being very cautious about what's happening, and they're not in a very robust attitude about hiring people. Now, there comes a point in which you cannot keep paying more and more money and expect to be able to stay in business, even though some people have said, well, if you just pay your workers more, everything would be fine. As it happens, we notice this is happening throughout the United States, but much more in some locations than in others. It's the urban areas that are really taking it to heart. It, it, things are tough. So if you're feeling like people are not being anxious to go into to work, that they're falling through in their appointments, that maybe your staff is a little reluctant to keep doing things, you're not the only one. This is going on just about everywhere. So the question is, is it going to last? And I will say in this short little video, no, I don't think it will. Ultimately, I think we're going to have a terrible Christmas because we can't get supplies. There may actually be a problem with food deliveries to grocery stores as empty shelves become more ubiquitous. As that happens, of course, the attitudes of people will change. Oddly, when things get stressed, people kind of get a little busier and they think, I got to do something. I don't want to just sit here and have this happen all, all the time. They'll look at their 20-something children who are living in their extra bedroom and say, you got to get out of the house. This isn't working. It also happens that people are tired of being under stress and poor. There are still states in the United States that are showing significant lockdowns, and people are getting tired of that as well. As these things occur, I believe that we're going to see more and more people say, let's change the scenario. Let's get out. Even the news and entertainment industry is going through a change. People haven't been going to the movies like they thought they were going to. They're not watching television events like they once thought they were. So I think that there is a motivation out in the society right now to get rid of the malaise, but it's going to take time for this to turn around. It isn't a thing that's going to happen from the top down. If you listen to that rather ubiquitous expression, let's go, Brandon. And I don't know what it means. I'm sure you don't either. But if you maybe were to Google it, it could be explained to you. But there's an attitude that exists right now in the United States that I think we're going to have to overcome. I want to thank you for listening to us. Again, the longer version of this uh, little session can be found at drdemographics.com. We're here to help you figure out where the best places to go and maybe get through some of the challenges that are going to be facing us in the near future. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you.